It's a tough job being a video game hero, when you're not being killed one million times. You're having to kill one million people to stop yourself being killed one million times. So it's a nice change of pace when you get offered up a pleasant, peaceful sounding side quest in which you'll go somewhere, do something simple and no one will die, right? Wrong! Stick around for seven simple quests that turned out unbelievably violent despite our best efforts. Enjoy and beware spoilers for the following games. Gentlemen, most honorable citizens of the hallowed city of Novigrad, welcome. A typical day for Geralt of Rivia, Witcher extraordinaire, involves hacking dozens of monsters to pieces and then getting possessed by a horny ghost. Yes, tis I, Geralt, a Witcher. Heartfelt thanks for your hospitality. I adore weddings. The brides especially. So fragrant, so tasty, I could... Righto. I'm sure we'll all have a splendid time. So in The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt, when a side mission comes along that offers the prospect of a bit of calm, refined culture, you'd imagine Geralt would be happy to grab it with both gore-soaked gauntlets. The quest, called The Play's The Thing, is part of a scheme by Geralt to draw a shape-shifting Doppler out of hiding and involves staging a new play from scratch. After much setup, the play itself starts promisingly with a good cast and a hot crowd. And as the princess, renowned artiste, beloved queen of the stage, Irina Reynard. But then you're put in charge, and if you mess things up, Geralt will absolutely tank the play with terrible dialogue. I kill monsters for pleasure, and... And no man is my measure. And acting more wooden than the stage he's standing on. Maybe he hid in the cellar. Or a barrel of beer. In fact, the play can be so bad and so inflammatory that it causes a riot to break out. A riot that you have to get involved in. Blasphemers! Order to some respect for the faith! In which you end up killing about five people. <laughs> Fingers crossed that when the critics write Geralt absolutely killed last night, people just think that means he was really funny. Mrs. Thornhill! Snap! Watch the birdie! Oh, pretend to throttle me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like you did on that, on that poster you did. Yeah, okay, well that would be my pleasure. <laughs> oh. uh, like that, huh? Yeah? Oh. Like that. Maybe something oh. like this? Or like oh. that, huh? You like that? Oh, that's enough, huh? you? Oh. you like that? Oh. 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 Hey. Being set as it is in a parody of Los Angeles, California, Grand Theft Auto V is full of the trappings of the movie business, such as premieres. I may be a lecherous old husband, but I'm a husband with a premiere at the Oriental Theatre on Vinewood Boulevard. Paparazzi. Here they come! Go, go, go! Lose them! And of course, spy cars with ejector seats. What happened when I pressed this? <laughs> on a much smaller scale than that, though, are the movie fans, two of whom Trevor can meet on his travels through the city. Just ignore us. Yes, don't mind us. Pretend we're not here. OK. This is Nigel and Mrs Thornhill. British tourists who are visiting Vinewood and who ask Trevor to help them collect some souvenirs from their favourite actors and musicians while they're in town. Well, what do you need? Just a few Vinewood souvenirs for my mm. museum. Look, 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 look at this map. I mean, a lot of these places have famous people living in them and some that are just hanging about. To which you're probably thinking, OK, I know Trevor Phillips is involved, but this can't possibly turn violent, right? Maybe pick up some autographs? Buy some memorabilia on eBay? Steal someone's swimming trunks? Sure. Hey! He just took my clothes! But of course, this is a Grand Theft Auto game, so before long, you're punching out rock stars, <laughs> shooting film directors on a golf course, Mission sport scientists, <laughs> kidnapping actors, you've kidnapped a major movie star, okay? And then leaving them in cars parked on the train tracks. <laughs> Wait, no. 
I guess that's one way to make sure their memorabilia goes up in value. Come on, sir. Try to remember what really happened at Sylvia's Saloon back in 76. Just a lot of bunk, Plato. It's just a lot of bunk. It's not bunk, Mr. Calloway, sir. It's history. While on the surface, Red Dead Redemption 2's Arthur Morgan may seem to be a down-home, rough-and-tumble cowboy. Come on, pretty boy. Pretty boy? You're kidding me. Pretty boy? <laughs> His handwritten journal betrays a more thoughtful literary mind with some notable artistic talent, if not the best subject matter. So when you start the Red Dead Redemption side quest, The Noblest of Men and a Woman, given to you by Theodore Levin, a writer who asks you to help him with his book, you'd be forgiven for thinking that this is maybe the turning over of a new leaf for Arthur, and a new career awaits in the more genteel literary world. This book, I've got to make a thing of it, and, well, there's a whole list of gunfighters. Legends, every last one. The work, it transpires, requires Arthur to track down a series of legendary gunslingers to get quotes for a book being written about one Jim Boy Calloway, a shootist of some renown himself. Fastest left-handed draw that ever drew breath. He once killed 14 men in a fight at Lucy Hollow. So off you trot to chat to these former gunslingers full of excitement at your new journalistic career, only to discover that most of the gunslingers are still angry and violent. <laughs> and that your encounters quickly devolve into Arthur shooting the other gunslinger, or chasing them across a train and shooting the other gunslinger, or, wow, okay, exploding a load of pig manure over the other gunslinger, and then shooting them. Even the one gunslinger you don't have to shoot, Black Bell, ends up roping you into mowing down wave after wave of bounty hunters, leaving you with a body count higher than that of some small wars. To cap it all off, when you return with the material for the book, Calloway makes you bring him a state marshal, who he then murders. So that's 30 or 40 people dead just so someone could write a book about Jim Boy Calloway. Still, at least the story has a happy ending. What's troubling you, sir? I am used to people challenging my ideas. In fact, I live for it, the cut and thrust of spirited debate. Lately, however, attacks against my reputation have taken a darker turn. Charles Darwin was a naturalist known for his book on the origin of species, which made him the father of evolutionary theory. So you'd have thought any missions involving him in the Victorian London set Assassin's Creed Syndicate would be sober scientific affairs. Maybe Darwin would ask you to track down rare animal species so he could study them. Or perhaps you'd need to sneakily liberate some of his samples from the Voyage of the Beagle, now sequestered away in some austere museum. Nope! Instead, try gassing everyone in a building and then blowing it up. Violently threatening rival naturalist Richard Owen. I wager your life, Mr. Owen, that you know something. Even the simple task of heading to the railway station to meet one of Darwin's colleagues descends into kidnapping. Just act naturally. Ambush, leading to a deadly street brawl. Looks like trouble is brewing. Dr. Schwartz. Never got on the and of course murder, when it turns out the colleague was in fact an imposter. Now to take this fossil to Darwin. It's a wonder Darwin found any time to do any naturalism at all with all this going on. Unlike many games on this list, there are side missions in Yakuza 0 that are extremely chill and non-violent, such as the one where you pretend to be someone's boyfriend, or the one where you help a small boy purchase an adult magazine from a vending machine. All calm, wholesome fun. 
So when you're approached in the street to help American pop sensation Miracle Johnson film his new music video, you've got no reason to suspect that this could be anything other than a fun and exciting chance to be a part of entertainment history with a character who definitely isn't supposed to be Michael Jackson. It quickly becomes apparent, however, that there's a problem with the shoot, in that Miracle Johnson is insisting on his video being zombie-themed, and that all the zombies attack him as hard as they possibly can, so it feels real. That's where you come in, as your talents are needed to protect Miracle from the zombies so that he can focus on the video, as requested by the video's director, Stephen uh, Spining, the director of the hit film Indian Jeans. <laughs> Checkmate, lawyers. What follows is this knockoff MJ moonwalking his way down Tenkaichi Street while you absolutely batter hordes of poor extras in zombie makeup who probably didn't expect to have their face stamped on when they left the house this morning. And say what you like about Miracle Johnson's music video ideas, but I think there's probably a reason why most music videos don't involve people getting their heads slammed in car doors. After about three minutes of breathtaking violence, Johnson reaches the end of the street and Spiel, sorry, Spining announces that he's just shot the greatest music video of all time. Which may be true, but I think it's probably going to get the most airplay in courtrooms when all these mangled extras sue for assault. So what's your plan? Is it better than me murdering my way through every wannabe killer in town? It is. I'm taking you to my buddies, Hank and Claude. They designed the Wanted app. They can take you off it. You sure? Yeah, they're cool. They brought the gig economy to murder for hire. Well, it started as a dating app, but the market was so crowded, you know? I'm glad they found their niche. The new Saints Row is full of all kinds of murder, mayhem, and destruction. But here's a side quest that gets violent in a way you're probably not expecting. Called Millennial, this side mission is one of the ones offered by the Wanted app, which sees you taking out targets for quick cash. However, when you reach the dead drop spot for this mission, your call is answered not by some gruff gangster type, but by a sweet sounding old woman. Hello? I hear you want someone taken out. Is this Randy? What? N no. Randy, you sound sick. Are you taking your vitamins? This isn't Randy. I'm calling about the wanted gig you posted. It seems this woman has had her credit card stolen and would like to confront the perpetrator. So you go and pick her up and drive her to the perp's location where presumably you'll give them a talking to about not committing credit card fraud. That miscreant just used my credit card over at the mall in Marina del Lago. So let's put the pedal to the metal. Yes, ma'am. Or at least that's what you think's going to happen. In reality, as soon as you get eyes on the target, the eponymous Millennial, who is dressed like the rich Texan from The Simpsons, the grandma domes him herself. There he is. Take that, you goddamn Millennial! Good lord, Boomer! Let that be a lesson, kids. Be nice to your elders. Because apparently, they're packing heat. There's this ship whose crew had to ditch mid-flight. I, I presume it's some kind of luxury liner because it's supposedly got an impressive collection of booze on it. I know outer space is unpredictable, but you'd think going for a drink is the sort of thing you could do without having to kill double-digit numbers of people. And yet good luck doing that in Bethesda's spacey RPG Starfield, because that's exactly what you're asked to do in the side mission Sure Bet, when Lizzie, the owner of an Alpha Centurion dive bar, asks you to zoom off to an abandoned armored transport to retrieve a case of rarefied booze for her. I want you to go to the ship, find the best stuff on board, and bring it to me. So far, so interstellar DoorDash delivery driver, but when you arrive to the transport in question, it becomes clear that this isn't going to be a simple booze run. That's because A, the ghost ship in question is having some major technical problems, such that the artificial gravity is cycling on and off at regular intervals, and B, it's absolutely teeming with space pirates, who we will have to systematically murder in a series of floaty zero-g shootouts. And also a bunch of Alpha Centurion boozers can get hammered on slightly more expensive space liquor. What's wrong with a good old-fashioned juice box full of beer? I mean, apart from all the obvious things. Here, you earned this. Now, you ever need to blow away some memories, you come back and see me. Understand? 
Thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, please do like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And uh, if you'd like to really support what we do, uh, there is the OX Supporters Club at patreon.com slash OX Club. Uh, that really helps us to make these videos. And also you can hang out in our special secret Discord with a bunch of other cool, like-minded individuals. Uh, if you want to watch something else right now, uh, we have a couple of videos, one up here from us and one down here from our sister channel, Outside Extra. Thanks for watching. See you next time.